I can feel my feet vibrating. Come on, on. <laughs> Just one wee little thing. Um, just as Alan's winding the harvester down, uh, I want to dedicate this particular uh, video to a good friend, um, a young man by the name of James Moore. Sadly, passed away actually yesterday, um, as the date this is filmed. And I uh, want to dedicate this little film to James. Um, we spent a little bit of time with James uh, a few months ago when he was uh, down at Temple Street Hospital in uh, Dublin and uh, yeah so this one's for you buddy. I've been nominated to act as uh, Alan's voice today because you can't hear him. I'd love to be able to talk to you a little bit more, but as you can hear, the, the noise of the 455 just drowns out everything. But what a noise it is. I would say you can hear the, the drone of an ear, let alone happened with him. But GF's going well. Seems to be running sweet enough there. It can fair eat grass in fairness to it. It's modified JF. You might have seen the video we done from the JF centre. That's been rebuilt. That's harvester uh, got 1355 drum on it. Stronger and it's different angle in the blades and it gives the harvester a lot better blow. Had to take a little crab off the side of the K2, but she's able to blow up to that, no problem. And Derek's on the 7810 with, uh, it's actually one of James Mackay's heron, Taylor's 14 ton, and she's able to fill up to that as well, so yeah, we're, we're chopping grass, aren't we? How long we go, nobody knows. We've got the, the crammer is on the pit. We've got the wagon running also. Uh, that's just left in the, the headland swords, just in case there's anything that the JF wouldn't be too fond of. Nice to hear the sound of a JF. To be fair, it's a few years since I've heard the hum of one, been beside one, fell in a load. I suppose maybe a few people thought we should have had the Volker on the harvester, we might do it still, but I thought it'd be nice to run something old school on it. And 1455's around, and she's in around the 195 horsepower mark, so. No, we have a problem. Houston may have a problem. It's 
standard silage seen here. 1455 has uh, sprung a bit of a leak on the power steering. So we're just going to get it sorted out before it goes on fire, basically. So. A little small screwdriver or pick or something. Back in the game. The joys of silage with old machinery, I suppose, hasn't it? But we're getting there. To be honest, it does the grass no harm there, it's drying out nicely. It's a lovely evening, I'm sure we'll be alright, we'll get her done. Listen to that 1455, and between that and the sound of the JAF, it's music. I'll be all gonna tell you different, haven't they? Suffer it, but. It's nice for me listening to you, anyway. So let's load on. Let's go. Soundtrack for you there. Nice to see the old cat run up. Don't think Al's overly happy. He looks a bit grumpy. He's not overly in love with the 1455 for some reason. Don't know why, but it's a lovely track. I had an offer to drive it, but nobody took me up on the offer, so Valdra is nice. It's comfy, it's quiet, K2 is brilliant. It does make things easy, to be fair. Look at the professional job we're doing here. Lifted all the bits that we've missed the first time. Do we back down at the pole, Al? What a fleet. Well, that's the first fill red up with the JF, so. Surely I can only get better. If we can get to the second fill, it'll be an achievement. I'm just kind of thinking it's going to be tight and up the lane. That could be fun. We're a bit of nafty work there. We're not the handiest. You know, you see why things has moved on maybe and 
you know, engineering of even the more modern trail harvesters, they're narrower now, and like the little Mag 6 come up around the same way, and no problem at all, but it's just very wide, that harvester with a big grill, and it's just not ideal. You can see why people have, you know, moved away from them, maybe, in certain situations, but like a, a Crone 630 will come up around that lane. But, she's in, we're chopping, she's doing a good job. There's always a few wee hiccups, isn't there? This is the feel that actually the Mag 6 blew up, man. Hmm, but I wonder will history repeat itself today? She's working now. Oh. <laughs> this is the bit where Alan thinks he has me filled. The K2's fair squeezing up the, the stuff out of the trail harvester, like. You know, obviously it's just sort of fallen on tear from it, but like you push it there and like half the trailer just appears again. It's uh, verdict in the JF. It's a good harvester there. It's serious intake on it. I'm very impressed with it. I think 1455, I think if you had a tractor with a more modern gearbox on the front you could make better use of her. The power's there but uh, I'd say the just lack of maybe some modern comforts or technology maybe. I think a wee bit of a mix of both would be better and you would be a bit more efficient. I suppose it's a horses for courses job but uh, you know it would suit a lot of maybe small farmers you know that wanted to do their own grass. They've done a fine job with her at the JF Center, it's, it's definitely a, a good harvester that's capable of, you know, eating a bit of grass there. My goodness, my goodness, she's working hard now. You can hear her roaring in the background. The weather hasn't been great here uh, in and around the Balamina area for the last few weeks, and uh, today, we mowed a lot down yesterday. We had the Valtra out with the two John Deere mowers and then the Cavernland here at HQ. And we literally had it all down and the rain came and it was unexpected and there was a lot of rain. So today, it's quite busy here. Gary has been carting till we see how we get on just with the K2 whilst the 1455's here. Um, but he's probably, he's going to dismount now, as they say, he's going to hook off now shortly and we're going to have to get the strike man on because there's rain forecast again for tomorrow. So playtime's heading towards over. I've been on the crammer a bit um, myself, but just so happens James uh, Mackay has came and he's the pilot that wanted to get a run on the crammer. Lesson to her. Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to turn it around. That is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. She's working. She is working. 